many of times it is possible that you are recording your video and audio in two different devices. For example, this video. I am recording my video with the camera while I am recording my audio with this small device. So in this case, the audio clip and video clips are separate. You need to do this in order to maintain the quality of audio. So now these two clips are separate and what you want to do? You want to make it public by synchronizing them. So how to do that synchronization? If you have recorded audio with different device and video with different device, how will you synchronize them? This is what I am going to talk about in my today's videos. I believe this video will be very helpful to those who has an eye for quality. So why wait? Let's start. As you can see here, this is the general use case. Whenever you are making an educational video, you may have recorded many video clips, many audio clips. Like here, as you can see, there are four video clips and there are four audio clips. So what we want to do, we want to synchronize the video with the audio. Audio was recorded with different device and video is recorded with different device. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to bring all the clips that we want to synchronize into a linear video editor. I am using Camtasia Studio. I will select these four video files, these three audio files and I will bring them to Camtasia Studio. Here. Now, if you have recorded these videos, you already know the sequence of the video as well as the audio. Most of the devices automatically add a number. It can be added into prefix or suffix. So here, as you can see, this is the audio dot wave file and a prefix is already added 00112. So this is how I come to know the sequence of this audio file. If you see here, this is MVI 7218 and this is 19. So this means the sequence is first 18, then 19 will come. And here you can easily guess that it was recorded at 6 minute 32 second and this one was recorded at 11 minute 44 seconds. So this means this will come first, this will come later. So let's first bring the videos because this is the main component of the educational video. So first I'll bring this 18 here. If you record, you know what video is for what. So for example, I know that this is recorded with camera. These are recorded with mobile and these are the audio files. So first I'll bring 18 here because this is intro. Then I'll bring main teaching files, which is recorded with mobile. Then another one. And finally, I will zoom out. And then I'll search. I'll bring this 7219 also here. This is end. This is one way to arrange clips in the timeline. You can also preview. You can also preview and on the basis of that you can decide which clip will come first and which clip will come later. So once you have placed all the videos in correct sequence, then you have to bring all the audios. Make sure you do not make any editing before you place everything on the timeline. So now I have to bring this zero file here. See, then file number one and then file number two. Okay. As you can see here, both the tracks, this is video and this is audio. Both the tracks are showing waves. Okay. Because there is waves, this means both of this have audio. You may have a question that why I am recording audio in both the devices if I know that I am going to use the audio from the audio recorder only. Because audio in a video file help me in synchronizing this audio. This is why I record audio in all the devices which are being used to record the video. So for example, there may be cases like here itself, this is recorded with the camera and this is recorded with the mobile, but both have audio. I always record video with the audio. 
Now let's synchronize this one first. For that I have to move it from the path. Then let's zoom. So you have to zoom. Zoom as much as you can. As you zoom, you will see that there is some mismatch between the waves. See, there's some mismatch. So let's come to some middle point and then go to beginning. Right now you can see that this wave must be placed on top of this place. Correct. So I'll move this clip. Okay. Then I'll go here. I will zoom a little. Then you can adjust the place. Then I'll zoom more. And finally, I can decide which is the correct place for this audio. And then once it is placed correctly, I may need to amplify the audio. And now you can see the waves are matching to each other. Up to here. After that, it's not matching. Because I have recorded this audio, this is why I know. I record audio for intro and end together. So this was the intro part and this is the end part. So I will slice this audio from here and then I will move it to the end. So this audio is for the end and now I will go here and I need to synchronize this as well. So this is how you can synchronize by looking into waves. See, till now I haven't listened it. Right? But don't do this. Listen. First try to keep it as close as you can. Then listen to it. So I will now play it. So now I believe that you will be able to enable develop. See, you can hear only one voice. Correct. Let me show you if they are not synchronized. So let me place it little here or like this. Now you will be able to hear two voices. So now, so now I believe that, that you will be, be able to enable developer mode. mode. Connect. So by listening and by adjusting the waves, you can synchronize audio with the video. See, now it is synchronized. Now I know this is extra portion. From here, I can cut it by slicing it. See, I am using these options, slice, zoom in, zoom out moving the clips okay don't worry if you do not have this video editor any linear video editor have all these features open shot also have these features in one of my video i will show you how you can do this with open shot but features are same the method is also same so you can do it in any linear video editor just make sure the video editor you are using shows waves of the clips if it is not going to show the waves you will not be able to adjust the audio with the video now let's move this file synchronize this one also so as you know this wave should come here so i will first cut it from the beginning so that i can move this clip then i'll bring it here and when i reach to close when i reach closer to the wave then i will zoom more zoom and then I will do this. See now it is perfectly synchronized. I will listen to it and from anywhere, not only from the beginning, you need to listen it from the beginning, from between and from the end also. Sometimes when you have exported this audio in MP3 and with variable bitrate, in that case it is possible that your audio's time is higher than your video's time and in that case it will be very difficult for you to synchronize. I'll tell you how to solve that problem. But first, let's synchronize this one and listen to it. Before showing the use of application, I would like to show you that. Right. And now let's synchronize this last clip also. So as you can see, only this is required. See, this wave is matching with this one. This is matching with this one. This is matching with this one. So what I'll do, I know this area is unwanted. So I will just remove it. 
so here as you can see this wave also is not matching properly see from here to here is perfect but from here it's not matching see okay so what i need to do i need to cut it from here so why this happened because because i have recorded two clips of the video while audio was being recorded without being stopped okay so i need to synchronize this also i will cut it then i'll bring it here see now the waves are matching i will now zoom and let's listen the free application that allow you to draw on your yes. mobile now it's perfect so now it's perfect till the end i will now bring this clip here and by mistake i cut the starting of this audio so i'll bring it again then i know this end is extra correct now i will put it here and i'll see if it is synchronized or not for that again i have to zoom and now i believe it is synchronized properly see seems synchronized now let's listen first small and you can test all these four yes now it is synchronized once you see everything is working fine then you can delete the audio from the video tracks so for that in your linear editor you can do it like this in camtasia i can do it like this in other linear editors there may be a different way to delete the audio from a video or decrease the volume of a video now once you done that now you do not know whether they are synchronized or not if you have moved it slightly like this now you do not know because you do not have any other wave to compare this is why it is very important that you make marks so how do i make marks i move into the beginning of each clip so from here there is something useful so what i do i make a slice here and then i remove this unwanted portion and then i select everything and move it here now even if i move it somewhere i know that it was starting from the beginning this way they are always synchronized similarly i'll do this with the next clip also so what happens whenever you are recording a new video clip so like this is a new video clip so most of the time the starting of the clip is just extra so i know from here it is synchronized so i'll cut this also and then i will delete this one see and finally there is this gap so i don't want to keep this gap because accidentally i may unsynchronize them so i'll move in the beginning and cut it similarly i'll cut this end. end portion also and i'll delete this unwanted portion and now i'll keep it like this now your audio and videos are properly synchronized now you can start editing so this is how you synchronize audio with video i have used camtasia studio but you can use any other video editor in fact one of my video i'll show you how to do this with open shot video editor So keep watching my videos and please share this video with your fellow teachers so that they can also use this method and improve the quality of their audio in educational videos. Namaste.